Hello everyone, Glen Games here back with another mod review and a very special mod review because this mod I played a lot during Hearts of Iron 3 and if you do kind of recognize it already, of course you guys are going to be very excited. This is Black Ice for Hearts of Iron 4 as you can see now, did a lot more research for us to start but just wait, that's going to be another gigantic thing to learn. When you go and look at it, of course, you can see the manpower is a lot bigger now. Of course, we have our own troops with HQs and Gs, and then, of course, tank brigades, military, infantry brigades, and things like that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to jump into here real quick is going to be the national focus. As you can see, the colors and everything have changed as well. Kind of giving it that eerie Hearts of Iron 4-ish, but also World War 2-ish kind of feel to it. Kind of dull colors. Everything is kind of like, well... You know, we're at war now. You know, we're we're here. Of course, you can only start in 1936, which, of course, I think also in Black Ice, you could only start in 1936. So, that's good. Here is the gigantic new national focus tree for at least Germany. I'm showing you the German Reich, of course. This is... Of course, you can see the factory focuses, and then each factory focus that you can jump yourselves into... Then you have construction focuses where you can work on infrastructure and then, of course, forts and then, of course, your industry. Then you keep going and you have the Luftwaffe, which we'll also see in depth when we go into the research side of things. But you can see all the different things that you could choose along with that. And I don't know if these uh, extra research slots work or anything like that. I haven't tried to do all these natural focus trees, but I'm going to see just what happens if we can get those. And then you have, of course... Your main infantry line and your tank brigades, and then you keep going over, you have Rhineland. Of course, this is all in the base game here. I don't know if all this has changed, but you can see that this is this all looks relatively the same. And then over here, you have your SS units. Yes, the glorified SS back to the German Reich from way back in the day in Black Ice Hearts Fire 3. So that was the National Focus Tree. The next thing we're going to look at is Civilian Factories. You can see now that you have different factories that you have to do. Synthetic Rubber, you have Tanks, you have Small Arms, Artillery, Trucks, Uniforms, Munitions, then you have Light Aircrafts, Heavy Aircrafts, and so on. And then you have your Base Ones that you still have to do. Of course, now you also have a Steel Refinery. Which is something also very new and then you have your forts and everything that hasn't changed one bit this is the big beast your research my gosh have i ever seen anything so huge in my life oh my goodness this is nuts so you have your infantry of course you have everything that you have to do for your infantry brigades and such which is very, very exciting. You can see that you can do all these sort of things. You have World War I infantry equipment. You have pre-war infantry equipment. And then you have your light arms and your early war and then your late war. And then you keep going down to your urban warfare, which is your more machine gun-esque units. And then you have, of course, your Panzerfausts, which uh, are going to be used basically to take out uh, tanks and things like that. You have your uniforms, you know, boots, helmets, two, boots, helmets, three, boots, helmets, four. You have your support equipment, your trench mortars and other mortars such as that. Then, of course, you have your, you know, digged in units. You have your desert, desert warfare equipment. Then, of course, you have more modernized or mechanized, I should say, trucks. So that way you can help yourselves out. And you also get explosive teams, which is very, very exciting. Naval infantry, so you can have marines, and then improved marines, and then you can have improved ambitious or amphibious whoops, warfare equipment, and then you can get the second one for that. You have mountain infantry, which you'll keep be able to go on to, and then you have mountain infantry equipment, and then you have paratroopers, which will give into the airborns, and then better paratroopers, and you go down to commandos, which will give you jungle warfare. So that's one of the big beasts. And then you can see that you have tabs on the top and you also have tabs on the sides. Well, of course, for us, we're going to be looking at the German armors, but you can look at all of the armors and such things. For us, of course, everything about this has been changed. 
have the Panzer ones. Of course, you have the MBFZs. Then you have the Panzer twos. Then you have your Panzer three, two, and four. And then you'll work down to get the different variants of the Panzer fours, threes, and twos. And you'll keep going down to get more. And then you'll get the Leopards, of course. And then you'll go down to the Tigers, which will give you the Lao and the Mouse and the Tiger twos. And then you get the Panther Ds and you get the Panthers. Of course, as long with your Panzers. So that is something completely, completely different. Then you have the Luftwaffe, which is completely rearranged from everything that you have ever seen for your Airborne. And of course, all of your planes. Everything is completely changed. And all of these are historical. I'm guessing. I'm guessing every single one of these are historically accurate. Then you have... The Kriegsmarine, so you can get Kriegsmarine uh, submarines. And that's everything for us. Of course, you can look at the Soviet tanks and things. So the T-28s, T-34s. And you can keep looking at those tanks. And then you can look at the Soviet air. And you can see how the Soviet air divisions differ from the Luftwaffe. Very, very cool stuff. I'm really going to be excited to play this, and I hope we're going to be able to, and I hope you guys really do enjoy the mod review and want to see more of it. Of course, we have the British tanks. Very, very cool stuff. We got the Churchills, of course. The Centrians, the Comets. My gosh, the Crusaders. Ooh. Then you have the American armor, which, is, again, has been totally changed. Yeah, the M3 Strout, M3 Lee, the M4, the M5 Strout, other things along with that. And I believe that every single major nation has changed because this has been a gigantic update that they left out. And I wasn't going to do anything with Black Ice until I knew that they were going to actively be working on it. And they have been. This is the first major update. Of course, you have the French and their fantastic planes the divisions of planes. And then we have these. So you have your infantry equipment, which we already went over. Then you have your support battalions, which have can all of this completely change. You got flamethrowers now, you got engineer companies, and you can keep going down. You have your cavalry that you can keep getting. And then you have your mid-war motorcycles, which is awesome. So it's very, very much in depth. Very, very much in depth. And it's really exciting to play. And of course, you have your generic armor which we don't really need any of this generic armor because we have, of course, the German armor. Then you have your artillery, which is completely, again, completely changed. Everything about this research, everything like that has been completely changed. A lot of it's going to be taken from Hearts of Iron 3 Black Ice. Land doctrines, I don't think anything's changed on those. I don't think they've thought to change anything like that. You have your legacy ships, basically World War I style ships and things like that. Then you have your naval, so your own country's naval brigades and things like that. So you have the Bismarcks, of course. You have the Type, uh, what is that? 7C, I'm going to guess. If that wasn't right, then whoopsie. Anti submarine warfare, torpedoes, anti air systems, transports. Very, very cool stuff. I'm really, really excited because, my gosh, it's been a long time since I played Black Ice. You have your air, which, of course, we have the Luftwaffe, so we don't have to look at any of that. We have your air doctrines, which I don't believe have changed either. Engineering, which I don't think this has changed. Maybe some of the actual aspects of it has been changed, but the pictures or everything have been the same. And then your industry. This is when you're going to see a lot of cool stuff. This thing is massive by the way. So you got all of your equipment and your assembly lines, and you have other things like that, and they all split into their own groups of things, which is very, very cool. And you'll come over here, and you can see other things like schools. It'd be really cool. Civilian works. And you have industrial works, uh, infrastructural works, and you have defense works. Then you have civilian works three, civilian works two, then it'll keep going on from there. Then if you can see steel industry, synthetic oil, you can see that we're going to need to get a lot of those. So that is the research. Super huge thing. You can see already in the production we're getting a lot of things done. I didn't set any of this. This is 
predetermined. Uh, a lot of these aren't actually built yet, but they will start being built when we get things situated and together. Your logistics, so how your country is doing as far as building everything, that hasn't changed, of course. You recruit and deploy all of your infantry divisions and panzer divisions and other things. These are completely changed. All of them are their own style of things. And then you have your HQs and things like that. So that's really, really exciting. Trade, which of course hasn't changed at all. So that's going to be exciting. Your construction, which I already showed you. And then basically... The entire aspect of Hearts of Iron 4 has been changed with this. It's just overall, like, it's like a new game. Of course, that's what Black Ice did to Hearts of Iron 3. They're trying to do the same thing to Hearts of Iron 4, which is very, very exciting. You can see the flags now on the sides instead of in the boxes. You can see that everything is changed. Of course, I could probably run this with a little bit of a look mods for the German units and things like that so we can get a very big feel of historical accuracy if we were wanting to play with this mod on. And then you can see we have insignificant resources that we need to take care of and things like that. And then everything like this, still the same common turn axis allies, of course, of course. And then if we were to look at something else, let's say we want to make this guy an army. We have our main generals, and they all have different things. Now you can see Desert Fox, Awesome General, Panzer Leader, Trickster. You can see that these things, Blitzkrieg Masters, they all do separate things for our generals. But we also have uh, new generals down here in the end. So we have SS generals, of course, now. Finally, new SS generals have been put on to be played. And you can see that they can all hold separate divisions now. 16 instead of 24, which is going to be very, very exciting. Um, I am going to be really hopeful that we're not going to have 70 armies through here. So that's going to be nuts because we don't need that. But yes, of course, everything about this has changed. Even certain things in here has changed. Of course, I think most of this is still the same. I could be wrong. Hugo might not actually be there. Then you have the Porsche, the Henschel, the Man, of course. And we got these two. Which is very, very cool. And your Air. Heinkels, of course. Dorniers, the Junkers. You got the Material Makers. Very, very cool. Everything, I don't think a lot of this has changed. But, still very, very cool. Limited Conscription, of course. We have all of that. That's all still the same. We're super fascist. Instead of just being 60% fascist, we are 100% fascist. And I think every single country has their own unique things uh, for each one of their countries. So, basically what I ask you is you want to see a series out of this. Because I will, of course, make a series if you guys wish me to. That'll be really, really fun. Really, really exciting to do. But... Uh, I leave it to you, of course. I'm really excited for Black Ice because I played the heck out of Black Ice. And I'm guessing there's supposed to be a lot of uh, events that are pushed into here and things like that. So it's going to change the game immensely. Uh, we are going to be playing back in World War II, but it's going to be a more historical, a more fun World War II. And I think it's going to be really exciting. And I do want to try it out. So if you guys want to see me do a series of this, of course, hit the like button down below. And then put down in the comments below what country... Now, what major country do you want us to play as? I'm not going to play as just any nation. I'm going to play as a major nation. We got Japan, the Soviet Union, we got Germany, we got France, we got the UK, we got the United States. We got a lot of these guys that can be played. Which major nation do you want me to play as? Now, I've tried to do a Germany. Uh, that was the first ever videos that I've ever thrown up on YouTube. Uh, I think playing Germany would be fun, of course. Uh, we have the Soviet Union, we have Japan. Now, the Soviet Union, I don't know if I'm going to do just playing that big of a nation. It's just going to terrify me. Of course, I have to do a whole bunch of um, multi-management and things like that. It's just going to be kind of terrifying for me. Japan might be fun. Germany, of course, would be fun. The United States, I don't know. Just because it, it would take a while for us to actually start seeing some action. I think it would be pro kind of boring in the beginning. 
And plus, we're already playing as a U.S. in a different series. Again, I get a different mod, but same thing applies. Then we have the U.K., which we could play as uh, Neville Chamberlain, uh, hopefully to change to Winston Churchill. And then, of course, we have Germany. We have France. So which nation do you want me to see or play as? Like the video if you want to see a series on this. And of course, if you have not already, subscribe for more. We're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff, and I can't wait to do this if you guys do want me to do it. But until then, everybody, I guess that is it for me. I will see you in the next episode. Oh, also, we can play as Italy. I forgot they are a major nation, too. Duh, Mussolini. Come on. And if we're going to play Italy, play Italy right. But yes, of course. Until then, everybody, take care. And I'll see you in the next episode. Blank Games signing off as always. Have fun, everyone.